Constitution. Every amendment must be proposed and then ratified. There are two ways to propose an amendment and two ways to ratify an amendment. Starting with the proposal, an amendment can either be proposed by two-thirds of both chambers of Congress, that means two-thirds of the House, two-thirds of the Senate, or it can be proposed by two-thirds of state legislatures. To ratify an amendment, the method is similar. Um, you either need three-quarters of state legislatures to ratify it, or you need three-quarters of the states to agree to ratify it at a constitutional convention at the state level called solely for that purpose, so every state will have its own convention. Now, going back to the proposal side, every single amendment we have, we have a total of 27, and every single one of them has been proposed by two-thirds of both chambers of Congress. We have never used the method of two-thirds of the states proposing an amendment. Here's what we need to ask. If two-thirds of the states were to propose an amendment, could they then ratify it with three-quarters of the states without the approval of Congress? I have read the exact words of Article 5. That's the article that explains how to amend the Constitution. And I see nothing in there that says that the states would need the permission of Congress in order to do this. So it might be possible for the states to amend the Constitution without ever having the approval of any national level government, the U.S. Congress or the President, or for that matter the Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court would be the ones to decide if the states ever tried to do this and Congress tried to say that they couldn't do this. Now I can also tell you that I've gone to U.S. government websites and usually websites from the U.S. government will claim that the states would petition Congress and then Congress would decide whether or not pr to propose an amendment by that method. Now this is a dispute that's never really happened because so far we really haven't even attempted that method, but it could happen. Now going to the ratification side, 26 of our 27 amendments have been ratified by three quarters of the state legislatures. The only amendment we ratified by the convention method was Amendment 21. The 21st Amendment overturned national prohibition. That would be the 18th Amendment. And the 21st Amendment then returned the issue of legalization of alcohol to the counties, meaning that counties can choose prohibition if they wish. And if they do, we call them dry counties, but very few counties do that these days. Now, the 21st Amendment was ratified by three-quarters of state-level conventions. I can tell you that the Supreme Court has already said that state conventions, the delegates there, cannot be members of the state legislature. Other than that, the state legislatures pretty much get to decide how they want to do these conventions. That means that the state legislatures could appoint the delegates or the people of the state could elect the delegates. So we've only used that method once. Most of our amendments have been proposed by two-thirds of Congress and ratified by three-quarters of the state legislatures. Once the amendment has been proposed and ratified by any of those methods, it is part of our Constitution. And the only way to change it at that point is with another amendment.